Hello, how are you? This is Mark. A lot of people ask me about Rome. Well, let me tell you that Rome is a beautiful city and uh, we've recently had uh, elections and uh, the first woman in history was chosen to be the mayor of Rome and uh, she has to face a lot of problems like, for example, traffic, okay, or the streets being very dirty. If you want to uh, visit Rome, I suggest you do in the spring or in the fall. In the summer, it's very, very hot, so you need to go to the beach. We have a beach in Rome and uh, it's about uh, 40 minutes by train. So you can, if you want to come in the summer, you can even go to the beach and it's very nice. So today we have a very interesting lesson and that is Partitives. So let's go to my uh, list, okay? A loaf of bread, a slice of pizza, a piece of cake, a packet of spaghetti, a bar of chocolate, a bunch of bananas, a can of Coca-Cola, a jar of jam, a carton of milk, a box of cereal, a tin of tuna fish, and a tub of margarine. Today we're going to talk about partitives, so stay tuned. So we're back. What are partitives? They are structures used to count or quantify mostly uncountable nouns, but also countable as we will see on our list. So let's check the first example that I gave you. A loaf of bread. This is used to describe a whole unit of bread. But we can also say a slice of bread, okay? It's a part of bread. And actually, that's our second one. A slice of pizza, okay? It's part of a whole, so a slice of pizza. We can say a slice of ham, a slice of cake, as uh, we are going to see up here also, a slice of pie, a slice of lemon, a slice of tomato, a slice of orange, etc., etc. Now, let's go to um, the third example. A piece of cake. As I said, we can say also a slice of cake, okay? But a piece of cake is the most common partitive, so a piece. A piece of bread, we can say. A piece of pizza, like a slice of pizza, is the same. A piece of pie, a piece of fruit, a piece of furniture, a piece of land, a piece of music, a piece of paper, etc. Let's check our fourth example. A packet of spaghetti a packet of spaghetti, a collection of items in a plastic or paper container, like spaghetti. For example, cookies. So a packet of cookies. Cookies are biscuits in British English. We can write it here in British English. A packet of biscuits, a packet of cigarettes, a packet of chewing gum, etc. So we are back with our list. A bar of chocolate, a small block of something solid. So we can say granola bar, for example, or a bar of butter, or even a bar of soap, a bar of gold, etc. Then the next one is a bunch of bananas. And this is usually a number of the same, uh, of the same thing in a close group. For example, a bunch of grapes, a bunch of asparagus, or a bunch of flowers. If you want to give someone, okay, your loved one, a bunch of flowers, or a bunch of keys, okay, etc. The next one was a can, a can of Coca-Cola. 
is this is a, a round metal container, okay, and it's usually higher than a tin, okay, which is a tin of tuna, okay, the tin of tuna is flat, okay, so we said a can of Coca-Cola and a can of beer, a can of soup, a can of peas, a can of beans, etc. The next one is a jar, a jar of jam, a jar of marmalade. Okay, difference between jar, uh, marmalade and jam. Jam is anything but uh, orange, uh, uh, lemon or uh, grapefruit. Okay, so uh, a jar of jam, a jar of um, um, strawberry jam, for example, no? It's a glass container. Okay, and we say also a jar of pickles, a jar of honey, a jar of olives, of mayo, a lot of things, okay? A jar of Nutella, a jar of peanut butter, okay, etc. The next one was a carton of milk. It's a light box made of cardboard. And we can say a carton of juice, a carton of kefir, or even a carton of eggs. A carton of yogurt, okay? Then we had a box of cereal, and this is a box, okay, normal box made of cardboard. For example, um, a box of chocolates, a box of donuts, etc. The next one, as I mentioned before, a tin of tuna fish. It's a small round, round or even square, okay, or rectangle, um, metal container. For example, Tomatoes, okay, a tin of tomatoes, a tin of beans, a tin of soup, etc. And it's usually flat. I try to uh, draw it, but I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, the next one is a tub of ice cream. So this is a plastic container with a lid, obviously. So a tub of margarine, a tub of cream cheese, etc. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, requests, or if you want to list your own example, you, you may do so under this video. Have a great day. Don't forget to share this mini lesson if you liked it. And uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.